Hey everyone, I'm Melanie from Streamline Legal, where we help law firms get the most out of their practice management software. Thanks for joining me tonight. I'm super excited because this is a part two video. If you missed part one, please feel free to go back and grab it off of our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. It was recorded on December 15th. And what we talked about there was using Zapier to update custom fields in your Clio account. And the example we had there was that um, we had a custom field called stage of the case, which followed the case through each stage. Um, we used a PI example, which was basically the stages were pre-demand, negotiations, settlement, post-trial, trial. trial. Um, and we went ahead and updated those using Zapier. Anytime we checked a task off as complete. So for example, when we went ahead and sent out our demand letter, we wanted that custom field to automatically update from pre-demand to negotiations. And so if you catch that video from December 15th, you'll see that that's exactly what happened. When we checked the task off that said that we sent out the demand letter, then it went ahead and updated the custom field to show that the stage of the case was now in negotiations. And so today we're gonna to take that one step further because one of the complaints that we get often about Clio is that while it's nice to be able to put that custom field on the matters screen and see that custom field stage of the case across all of your matters, it's not really a great visualization. And a lot of people prefer the visualization of a Kanban board. And for those of you that are not familiar with Kanban boards, basically we're talking about things like uh, Trello or Asana or something that basically allows you to move the case from one column to the next, to the next, to the next as you proceed throughout the case. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do here today. In addition to updating that custom field, we're gonna go ahead and also have um, Zapier move that card or that case on our Kanban board. So let's go over to the screen and see how that works. Um, so here we've got our matter, and this is a PI matter for Catherine. It's a hit and run case that we have. And you'll see that right now our stage of the case is pre-demand. We've not sent out that demand letter yet. And in fact, if you go and look at our tasks, we do have a task to send out the demand letter, which we need to do today, right? And Additionally, we like to use Trello here um, as our example, and I've got a PI case uh, board which shows that the case for Catherine is in the pre-demand stage. And so what I really would like to happen and what we're going to see take place is when I check off this task and mark it as complete, meaning I sent out the demand letter, what's going to happen is now it's going to update the stage of the case in Clio so that we know what stage we're in. And it's also going to move our card for this case from the pre-demand column into the negotiations column. So as long as your team is keeping up with their tasks then um, and marking them as complete, then that update will all take place automatically. So let's see that happen and then I'll show you the zap that we created to make it happen. So here we are in Clio, we're gonna go to our tasks, we need to send out that demand letter, I've got it all ready to go, stick it in the mail, um, send it via email, however you're sending them these days. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this as complete. And when I do that, of course, it disappears from my list because now it's in the completed tasks. And I'm gonna go ahead and head back over to my dashboard where I can see my custom fields. And as soon as I refresh that page, it should only take a few seconds and it will now update the stage of the case to negotiations, right? The other thing that it did, if we check over in Trello, it moved the card from pre-demand to negotiations. So now I can keep up with my Trello board and not have additional manual steps in order to give me that nice visualization. So let's take a minute and see how we made that happen. If you check out our video from December 15th, you'll see that um, this is the same Zap that we set up. Now we're in Zapier. It's the same Zap that we set up there. First, we're going to um, have the task status updated in Clio. And that's what we saw when I clicked on Market is Complete. That's what's triggering this zap. 
it's only going to continue because I filtered it for um, that particular task, right? I didn't want to have every time a task was marked as complete, it went ahead and um, updated the, the stage of the case. I only wanted to do it when the task that says send out demand letter is checked as complete. So we went ahead and filtered for that. Then what I'm telling it to do here is that I'm going to update the matter in Clio. And we saw that in our last video where in, and today we're updated from the pre-demand stage of the case to the negotiation stage of the case. And so that's what's happening there. The last step here that we added tonight is we want to go ahead and find that card in Trello. So let's make sure that we can find the exact card that matches that case. And then we want to go ahead and move that card to a different list in Trello. So again, it's happening at the same time I mark off that task. Not only is it updating Clio in the custom field there, but then it's going to take that Trello card and move it to the correct um, column. So this is a great way to be able to take advantage of both the, of both the custom fields in Clio the automation that it allows, and then also still getting that visualization that you can get out of Trello or Sana or one of those programs that uses boards. And so I'd encourage you, if you are in fact using Trello for that visualization, but you also want to use the Clio task to be able to give a more detailed account of what needs to be done, this is a great combination. And so do check out our video for December 15th, add it to this video, Give it a try, see how it goes, and let us know if you need any help. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. Have a great evening.